This is the homework help video for chemistry, homework 5.1. Uh, I'm doing this on the same sheet uh, that you have in your possession. Mine looks a little bit different because I imported it uh, to this app, so if, it, if there's some discrepancies, don't worry about it. I'll be doing the same problems uh, that you're doing. So let's start with number one, and I know it says number two right here, but uh, just go ahead and ignore that. It's number one. Um, and we're going to do B. I'll do kind of one from each section here. Uh, so let's look at B. We've got calcium and then HCO3 parentheses 2. The easiest one here is the calcium. We know that there's only one. There's one calcium here. There's no subscripts, nothing like that uh, to worry about here. For the hydrogens, uh, it gets a little bit more complicated. We've got this 2 right here, and we need to distribute that to the hydrogen. So there's two hydrogens. There's also two carbons for the same reason, that two distributes to the carbon. The oxygen is the trickiest piece because, and let me erase this so we can see it, we've got three oxygens here and a two out there, so we actually take two times three, which gives us six oxygens. So your numbers there should be one, two, two, and six. And that process will hold true for each of those problems and for any chemical that you would come into contact with. Moving down to number two, or your number two, number three on here, uh, classify these as ionic or covalent. Um, we'll start with A, or for, for you it's A, for me it's B. Uh, H2SO4, and this is ionic. Uh, MgCl, I'll do that one as well. Uh, we've got magnesium, which is a metal. Chlorine, which is a non-metal. It is also ionic. Uh, moving on, we'll go to your number three, my number five, because mine's all screwed up. Uh, identify the, or I indicate the most likely charges on the following elements when they become ions. Remember, this is uh, very similar to looking at valence electrons. How many does it want to gain or lose? And that gives us the charge. Uh, so let's start just with oxygen. We would have oxygen, it normally has six valence electrons. So six valence electrons. So it wants to gain two, which means that its charge then will be minus two because electrons are negative. If it gains two negative things, its charge is going to be negative two. Um, and that process, again, will hold true for the rest of those. Uh, I think you can handle the rest of them. Finally, number seven here, <clears throat> uh, for you again, it's number four. Uh, write the formulas for the following polyatomic ions. This is really easy. Just flip your periodic table over, uh, and they're right there. Uh, we'll start with, or we'll just do uh, carbonate here, uh, D. Uh, the carbonate formula is CO3 minus 2. That's all I need you to write there is that CO3 minus 2. I just want you to get familiar with looking at that sheet uh, to figure out, okay, what's the, what are the actual elements that are involved in this uh, polyatomic ion. That's the homework help video for homework 5.1. I hope it helped.